Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Real quick, one of the best documentaries I'm watching right now is Full Swing. Randomly put it on. Um, I've played golf once or twice, a uh, handful of times at most. But I, I love I love golf. It's a it's a fun it's a fun sport. But I didn't know as much about the sport as I do now, thanks to Full Swing. And I gotta say I'm a fan. So um, before I never would watch golf. I feel like now there's gonna be a ton of golf, similar to the uh, F1 documentary. Got a ton of uh, new fans. I think Full Swing's gonna get a bunch um, of new fans to golf. So uh, be prepared. But anyway, so you guys haven't watched this documentary it's mind-blowing i had no idea how intense golf can be and obviously it's lucrative i think everybody knows that but the way golf works the opportunities the whole game of the whole game um things going on with the whole uh live golf with saudi arabia i had no idea this was even going on so pretty cool um documentary um if you guys haven't watched it, it's on Netflix. It's called Full Swing. Uh, it's very entertaining. So it basically shows the private life and the professional life of golfers. Um, anything from like the cream of the crop to, you know, you know, um, not very well-known players. So, um, yeah, it, it's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. I, I was already like on eBay trying to find some golf clubs uh, so I could play this weekend. But I'll play the trailer for you guys. Um, hopefully it doesn't demonetize or not demonetize hopefully it doesn't like um have a copyright issue on this but um Imagine being the caddy. Holy moly. So another thing that I noticed about this, if you're a caddy, it's it's just intense, right? Like if you're if you're a caddy for one of these guys, um I feel like good luck trying to uh not shit your pants. <laughs> because it's like if these guys are up, they're up. If they're down, they're down. And it's like I feel like a lot of the game comes down to their confidence, emotions. If they're pissed off and they're being pessimistic, they continue to freaking miss their shots. They can continue to play like crap. But if they're coming confident or they don't put too much importance into it, like I noticed um, some of the best players, they're kind of just very like nonchalant. Like they don't put too much um, weight on the, on the game. Uh, I mean, at least that's what they were portraying. So, and they were doing the best. So anyways, that, that's kind of what I thought about. Like some of these caddies, you're just like, holy moly, like this is terrifying. By the way, this guy's caddy. Uh, I already got forgot this player's name, right? Because obviously I'm not a huge golf uh, fan. I just got into it as wa watching the documentary. But this guy right here, as you guys see on the screen, his caddy is like his best buds since they were like teenagers. Um, but they don't make that much money. Like the dudes, the caddy's like, you know, not well off. Like, and then all his income relies on the golfer. So it's it's too much trust. On the golfer, but you know if he has a lot of belief on his buddy, then that makes sense, and he probably gets to travel all over the place. Um, but if you have a family, which this caddy does, that's terrifying to rely on your wage. But anyways, I'm going all you know. That's basically like what I've been. Spoiler alert, you know that's kind of what I saw in the uh, uh, from the first couple episodes. But amazing stories on all these people. So that guy Brooks, I already forgot his full name, but he was killing it, I guess, for a couple years, and now he just like sucks. Um, you can tell the dude's all in his head, you know. And one of the journalists, the sports journalist in the documentary, basically talks about how it's, um, you know, it, it's a lot of mental, right? And because a lot of these guys already have like the the technique down, but it's just a lot of you know them being in their own head. But anyways, just noticed that, and it was just so frustrating seeing this guy just freaking fell and 
lose game after game and you know i don't know it, it, it's kind of scary right because especially that dude's living like a pretty expensive lifestyle and if he's not winning tournaments it's kind of interesting to think like what happens next do you have to sell your mansion or you know what happens i don't know are, are you diversified <laughs> do you have any money in crypto Anyways, guys, check it out. Amazing show. Amazing documentary. I feel like I might have killed a little, a little bit of the show for you guys, but overall, I think I watched like three, three, two or three episodes. I'm hooked. So check it out. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think.